welcome to Vlogmas. It is finally here, December is here, Christmas is around the corner and I have 24 days of this for you. Apologies in advance. I'm going to run this year's Vlogmas very similar to how I ran last year's which is I'm going to open my advent calendars for you guys but I've got different advent calendars this year and I'm going to do things slightly differently with the other stuff. So last year we had little clips came in at the end or I had quizzes. This year I've got just one quiz that's going to run all the way through Vlogmas and then you'll see at the end what's happening there or maybe later on I'll discuss that more. I'm a little bit disorganised. Who's surprised? So I've got a couple of little bits of things to talk about before I actually start with my advent calendars today. And the first thing is I want to show you my t-shirt. Hang on. It says, rocking around the Christmas tree. I was a little bit kind of like, hmm, I haven't got a Christmas t-shirt this year because the ones that I had last year are now too big and I'd sold them on. And I had a message from a lady, an email from a lady a few weeks ago and we've been chatting and she said, oh, I've, I'm, I'm losing weight too and I've gone down through the size that you're currently at and would you like a parcel of clothes? And I said, oh yes please, that would be lovely. A parcel arrived with this beautiful card in it. I don't know if you've made this card yourself. She has, because her, her name is on the back with Made With Love. So she's made this card herself. I hope it's focusing. I'll get my face out of the way it might. There we go. And it's got cake all over it. So made with me in mind. And inside it says, Dear Carla, here is the parcel of clothes I promised you. Hope there's something suitable for you. If not, feel free to do with them as you see fit. Um, there are some lovely clothes in there. Thank you, Julie. There's a couple of the yellow t-shirt. You've never seen anything like me in yellow, so that'll be moving on. But there's some lovely stuff for next summer. So if I'm still this size next summer, I am sorted clothes-wise. She goes on to say, thank you once again for letting us into your life and being true to yourself. Listening to you this morning on the crush was like you were speaking about me, but I've never had the words. We can do this. It doesn't matter how long it takes and there will be curves in the road, but it is not a race or a competition. Hope you enjoy the no calorie cake. And she does say, if you wish to share on your channel, I've got no objection. So thank you so much, Julie, for the lovely card for my Christmas t-shirt <laughs> and for the parcel of clothes. Thank you so much to you for that. The next thing I want to talk about before I start is this. So those of you who follow Lex's channel will have seen her open one of these. This is a present from Ashley at Paper and Twine. And um, we've got a very similar letter each. So you've heard Lex's letter already if you've seen that. She says um, that in 2020 she was diagnosed with cancer for the second time and during recuperation after surgery and treatment discovered YouTube in a big way. Found my channel Lex's and Mrs M's amongst others and began to think perhaps I could have a go at this. On 2nd of January launched Paper and Twine which if you're not subscribed go and have a look. Oh my god talented lady. I'm nowhere near as proficient as you ladies but I'm proud of the little community I've built up. For some reason some people seem to like my coffee shop drivel and tales of Barry my virtual barista. I began showing my paper crafting projects and got positive feedback so I started doing some tutorials and this feedback gave me the confidence to enter Card Maker of the Year 2021. We all voted for you Ashley. And to my utter amazement I won. This has opened up several opportunities for me and I'm really busy now creating projects for several craft publications and writing the instructions. She says this along with her channel has given her a purpose and structure to her day and it's down to the channels that she watches. So she has made this. I know Lex has got one because I saw Lex open hers. It is Carla's Advent Activity Album. It is a stunning, stunning thing. Ashley is the most talented paper crafter. It's beautifully made. We've got um, layers of cardstock here. I used to do scrapbooking, so I ought to know Matt. She's matted everything. I ought to know the terminology, but it's been a while. And then inside is this gorgeous, gorgeous handmade album. It ties up at the side here. And inside, it's an advent album and each of these tags pulls out and has a different thing on it. So I'm going to open today's while I'm here, but I'm not going to open this every day on this Vlogmas video. What I'm going to do is I'm going to open it every day and film it separately and I'm going to put that up as a whole video, possibly on Christmas Day, depending on whether I can get it edited in time, because obviously the last one I do will be Christmas Eve. If I can get it edited, it'll go at Christmas Day. If not, some time between Christmas and New Year, because I want to do the activities that Ashley's put on the tag. So for, so for today, the first one is start your Christmas gift shopping if you haven't already. 
I have started but I have got a couple more to order so I will order those and I, I thought it would be nice to make that as a standalone video as a special thank you to Ashley for this it's, it's I cannot tell you how beautiful it is but I'm going to show you each page as I open it throughout the month and then you'll get to see all of that at the end I thought I'd pop that into this video because those of you who have seen that Lex received one and heard Lex's letter will have known that I got one and wondered if I was just being really churlish and ungrateful and not mentioning it. <laughs> Ashley, I love it. Thank you so much. I'm going to have so much fun with that over December. Also, I have to say, my viewers, you are just such a stunning bunch of people. I'm going to try and zoom out a second. So you may remember that last year I had a beautiful advent box sent to me from Sharon Staley. And this year she has surpassed herself and done it again. This is huge. This is bigger than bigger than my head. I don't know if I don't know if you're getting the um, the full glory of that. It's a beast. <laughs> um. So she has surpassed herself. Sent a massive advent box this year. I have also got my Reese's calendar at the back there that Jack Parrish sent me. Thank you so much for that, Jack. Then I bought this one for myself because it was skinny bars. I like a skinny snack bar and there was a couple of flavours in there I haven't tried. So I thought that would be interesting. I bought this one because I wanted to have something to build for Advent. So this is a Christmas treehouse Advent calendar. I bought this on Etsy and I'll put the link in below. Not no affiliation, but I'll put the link in in case anybody wants one. I'm sure it's not too late. You could just catch up on a couple of days. Or you might want to save that seller for next year. And then I've got always the advent of change so the advent of change is the world's kindest advent calendar and again this is not sponsored that would be crazy 85 percent of the proceeds of this calendar go to charity so you open a door each day to discover which charity you've helped and what your donation has enabled them to do so we had one of these last year they do them in two i call it two sizes but it's actually the same size it's two price points the, the last year by the time I realised they existed, they only had the £16 ones left. But this year I got in ahead of the game and got the um, the slightly more expensive one. Expensive, because then it makes more donations. So this one, I think, I think I paid 35 I got it from John Lewis and I appear to have forgot. I think it was 34 95 It might have been 35.95. But each door that you open benefits a charity. Last year we had great fun together, at least I had great fun, opening the doors, looking at different charities and we also raised money for one of the charities after Vlogmas. Maybe that will be a possibility this year, I don't know. I'll give that some thought. So I thought we'd have this one again this year because I like to feel that as well as getting some entertainment we are helping somebody along the way. So we're going to start with today's Advent of Change calendar, door number one. It is Carers Worldwide and it says today you have enabled blah, blah, blah. and it says today you have enabled two child carers in Nepal to go to school and get an education so that's going to be people who are caring for a family member in Nepal where perhaps they don't have the social care system that we have these are children who are having to cope for maybe an older family member or or you know someone with a, a learning disability or whatever these are children who would not normally get a chance to go to school and get an education because they are too busy being needed at home so that is fantastic this charity then supplies carers so that those children can go to school i'm delighted that we've been able to help that charity i think we're off to a flying start with the advent of change calendar yay for that okay I'm going to open my food ones very quickly because they're not remotely interesting. Not to you guys, anyway. I mean, I like food. At number one at the top there. Are oh, they all slotted in look like, like a filing cabinet? It is a skinny whip in strawberry and chocolate. I, I like the skinny Rocky Road ones in strawberry. I haven't tried a skinny whip. So there we go. That's my first one for there. And then my Reese's one from Jack will hold no surprises but it will hold great deliciousness number one is at the top again ta-da got my Reese's I'm not going to eat it right now but I'm probably going to have it after lunch okay let's have a look at the treehouse one now perhaps I should have got this out of the packet beforehand so I knew what I was doing but half the fun is in the bungling isn't it <laughs> I hope Okay, I've got a sheet of instructions. Slot together the two halves of the tree, place the platform in the tree. A on the platform slots into A on the tree. 
I'm glad they've um, described it for idiots because I wouldn't have got it. Assemble the walls of the house B to B, C to C, D to D and E to E. Carefully slide house onto platform. It might take a bit of jiggling. Place piece K in front of the door. Oh, I should have done this before. I'm going to pause this and I'll be back when I've built it and then we'll hang the first advent piece on. See you in a minute. Okay, I'm back. My house is built. I'm not going to lie, it was so stressful that I ate my Reese's peanut butter cup. I'm not a natural engineer. <laughs> It is quite a nice thing. It's taken me a long time to realise that the house is day one. So after putting it together, I've just spent ages and ages and ages searching for piece one to hang on it. It's not day one. You're an idiot. You've lost a piece. The house itself is piece one. So if you buy one of these, day one is building the house. So I'm quite pleased with it. It's gone quite well. We'll pop it there. It's even got a little doormat. <laughs> And then tomorrow we'll start putting the pieces. I've pushed all the pieces out. I'm going to put them in order. I'm going to be so much more organised by tomorrow. You wait and see. OK, let me move that safely to the back. Because it's time for the big guy. It's got a lovely green bow on the lid. And then... Oh, look at all that glory. Sharon's done a wonderful job. She did this last year as well, wrapped them all individually. She must put so much work into this. I need to try and find number one. Found it, that was quite quick, wasn't it? If you were here for last year's Vlogmas, you'll remember that hours and hours were spent with me searching for numbers. Here's number one, day one of Vlogmas, here we go. Oh, look at that. It is a Christmas tree bauble with an almost a Molly on there. And it's very similar. Well, it's that would, that would be what happened if Molly and Buddy had babies, which they can't because he can't and she can't. But that's what you'd get. That's what you'd get if those two got together. It's a it's a little terrier with the white patch and the colouring. Oh, it's beautiful. Thank you, Sharon. My tree's not up yet, but when my tree goes up, that will most certainly be the first one to go on. OK. First day of Vlogmas was always going to be a bit of a shambles. Hopefully it will get better. Here is your Christmas quiz. Now, my plan for this is I'm going to give you one clue per day. You need to write down your answers and keep them safe and make sure you number them. Because on Christmas Eve, I'm going to want you to take one letter from some of your answers and... I've put a competition entry form on my website. So you'll be able to pop on there and put your answer into the competition entry form. I'll give you more details about that as the month goes on. But the first thing to remember is that before you listen to this, you need a pen and a piece of paper. I'll wait. Have you got one? Okay. If not, I suppose you could just pause the video. That would work. Your first, oh, I should also tell you what you're looking for here. Everything that I'm going to say to you during this month, it's all movie quotes. So it's all a quote from a Christmas film. What you need to do is find out what film it is and that's going to be your answer. So write down your answer each day, keep them safe, make sure you number them. So for the first day one, your quote is, just because I cannot see it doesn't mean I can't believe it. So you need to decide which Christmas film that is a quote from. Write down the name of that Christmas film and keep it safe. Just because I can't see it doesn't mean I can't believe it. Just because I cannot see it doesn't mean I can't believe it. Write down your answer. Keep it safe. You'll have 24 of them by the time we finish with this. Thank you for joining me for today's Vlogmas. I hope you've enjoyed it. As I said, hopefully it'll get a little bit, a little bit less shambolic as the month goes on and I get more into the swing. And I'll be back tomorrow with more. Take care. Bye for now.